the meeting with us went pretty well, you know. The, I got to talk to the guys that, and uh, they're willing, you know. They just were, were a little trust factor, you know. Uh, I want to know how yours went, you know, how did that go? Same here. Um, they're willing. They, um, they, they don't feel that um, your people will come through, you know. Uh, they trust is a major concern. Uh, they was talking about heat bringing heat to the location, uh, which we definitely have to decide where uh, that's going to be. So any uh, suggestions? Well, they brought that also to, to my attention that um, they didn't want to have it in your, na in your neighborhood over there at all. And I, and I told them we, we were not going to have it in their area also. Yeah. So I said we're going to have it in a neutral area. Mm -hmm. um, so they agreed with that. and. Um, we told them that we were gonna have to, you know, frisk them, you know, and let them know that we don't want weapons in there and it's gonna be clean so we could have a good dialogue. Mm -hmm. Same on our end. So we need to decide where exactly is a nice, safe, uh, neutral zone to uh, have this meeting. I was thinking maybe here in the church. Well, you, you know, they felt comfortable right here, so. Uh, I would say here too in the church, you know, we already had a little meeting here. So I think uh, we'll have the, the main one here. Mm -hmm. uh, we just have to go over the logistics and talk, you know, about what day and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, they were like, you know, really kind of um, uh, not not going for it, you know, for, for a minute. but. Uh, because I know him so well for quite a while. We grew up together, so I'm um, going by my word, you know, and I'm sure mm -hmm. we're going by yours, so we got to really, you know, me do the mediation and and stick to that, you know, and make sure whatever comes out of the agreement that we follow up and make sure that we do our end and they do theirs. You know? Definitely. They, um, they trust me a lot, and, you know, statistically, 80 to 85 percent of most gang members are not involved with criminal activity. And if there's something I could do not to raise that, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. You know, I'm right. all for it, so. I, well, think. I, I think this is gonna be a start of, uh, hopefully that we were able to be part of stopping this permanently, you know, this peace agreement that they're gonna make, you know, and uh, hoping that it goes forward and we get to do a lot more, you know, I think, uh, for, this, for their kids' safety and the community safety. Mm -hmm. I think we have the backing of the leaders, you know, the community leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll leave it like that, you know, and then we'll get in touch with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, then, we'll, then we'll go and follow the, through with everything. That sounds good, that sounds good. I made sure that I laid ground rules, you know, um, and uh, yeah, I think it's. I'm glad you backed it up because one of one of the youngsters was kind of snapping already, and I told him mm. he would not be able to come over here and act like that, you know. So he has good influence, but he he's got to control a little bit himself, and so I explained really well with him that he can't come and snap like that, you know. Okay. He curses a lot and does all these things, you know, like, but he has that that respect still. He has that 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 trust over there, so. Mm -hmm. He's valuable, you know, to, to this process. So um, Eddie's the one that has his head on his shoulders, you know, and he's yeah. the one that has more say so in that, that hood, you know. So I think that a lot of good will come out of that, you know, with both of those cats there. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, and, uh, I met I met the brothers that, that you were. OJ, they, yeah. They got some good heads on their yeah, shoulders. Yeah, they definitely too, do. Know. They're very strong, they're very uh, yeah. influential. And um, they definitely are the ones to um, bring to the table for this. Yeah. So that day, I, I believe that we're just going to separate them. I'll be on, on that side with them, and you'll be on this side with them. Okay. And we'll keep them uh, way across the table. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure that it's safe. Uh, and anything that, that we need to do to get them there, I think we have to do the extra. You know, if I have yeah. to go and pick them up, and meet them there. I'm gonna go meet them, and we'll follow each other. And so. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. And um, long as there's that level of trust, yeah. um, that level of respect, yeah. I think that we shouldn't have any problems. 
So I'm definitely looking forward to this. Yeah, I me too. I, I think that it's overdue. And if we don't have this, there's going to be more bloodshed and more violence out there, you know. So but this is a start, and I, I know that they're eager to do this themselves. So mm -hmm. what does me doing the mediation part, I think, is, is the crucial part because no one is knowing what the other one is saying, and they need that, you know. So yeah, absolutely. That's going to help All the right. whole process. Let's All do right. it. All right, yeah.